I need some tips and tricks for installing my vinyl tile around a floor drain in my laundry room. The tile is Mannington's Adura Vinyl Tile product. It is a pretty rigid product so I am not sure how to best bend or shape it to the drain, if bending slash shaping is even the right approach. The floor was stripped of laminate vinyl and the subfloor, see attached pictures, is a nice one quarter base product attached over the top of the plywood subfloor. What is the best way to get this done to accommodate the drain and avoid water damage slash mold from use of the drain? Hi, my name is XXXXXXXXXXX for stopping by. This product is not intended to be curved or bent, so its natural state is to be flat. It will eventually conform to smaller elevation changes, but a floor drain is typically fairly severe. Are you going to go with a grouted installation? Yes, grouted install. In that case, I would experiment with cutting the tiles into triangles where needed and then you could create a sloped installation. You could keep the grout joints at a minimum in this area so as to not draw attention to the extra cuts. This is how ceramic tile is installed if you have noticed. You would need still fill in under the slope tiles with floor adhesive to fill the void so they are not spongy and eventually either come off or crack. How big are the triangles going to need to be? Where do the triangles start, right at the drain, before the drain, etc. The good news is the tile and drain will be covered by a clothes washer so I am not too worried about the finished look. I set the new tiles over the drain in the position they will be and first cut a circle in them the diameter you would like. Probably about one quarter inch larger than the black ring around the removable chrome cover. Then, the cuts will need to go as high as the sloping occurs. There are many ways to accomplish it. Basically, the smaller the pieces you cut the closer to the actual slope of the floor you will achieve. Anything smaller than say 3x3 is probably overkill since it will be hidden and not walked on, you just want to wait for any water to run down into the drain. VTW, as long as the washer is moved out of the way, now would be a good time to pour some water down the drain to make sure the trap is full of water as they periodically do dry out and allow sewer gas to enter the room. Got it. Thanks for the info. Great tip on the water in the drain. I will do that too. Another question, what is the best way to cut a circle in this type of tile? Will a Dremel with cut off discs work okay? Yes it will, but it may wander a bit, so you want to use a soup can or something the right size to use as a guide to keep on a circle. Thank you. Mark. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.